Okay, Wednesday morning in the kingdom, and I survived a warm day yesterday in those van trailers and everything. I don't know how Johnny G does it all the time, but he is. He's old, and he has an electric pallet jack. I had the hand bomber. All right. So this morning we woke up to plus 18, but feels like plus 18, and we're going to be on an official hot day today, so we'll be probably taking a day off. Yes, and on the yo-yo scale, plus 64, but feels like plus 64. We have nothing in the kingdom from 1964. Yes. All right. So today's going to be a hot day. They're forecasting plus 31 Celsius, which is plus 88 on the yo-yo scale. So that is hot. We only get five hot days in the summer. Yes, five hot days. We usually take it off. So we might have to get the garden hose out and the lawn sprinkler. Yes, the lawn sprinkler. We have lots of those. Yes, we have no lawn, but we have roofs. Yes, see the roof over here and the roof over there. So if we have a forest fire, we put the sprinklers on the roof. Yes, so last night after working hard in the heat, we quit early. I went in the house and turned on the air conditioner. Yes, the air conditioner. And then I enjoyed some oh, titty vodka as I cooked my chicken breasts. Yes, chicken titties in the oven. Yes, at 400 degrees Fahrenheit with potatoes, onions, and mushrooms. Yes, so that's what I did. I cranked up the AC and enjoyed a good meal with titty vodka. Yes. So today we're not sure what we're gonna do today. We're gonna work till it gets too hot and then probably day drink. Yes, day drink. But we'll probably have to get back into trailer number nine here and get organized because we gotta put the D7 motor parts in there. Yes, good thinking, put all the Caterpillar parts, motor parts in one trailer. Yes, and then we can find them, we know where it is. Yes, pretty smart thinking. All right, we got some sunshine over here. Over here, over there, somewhere over there. Oh, I can't find it, but there's enough smoke in the air from the fire just southeast, southwest of Whoville that's giving us those orange skies. Great to me, I'm colorblind. We'll quickly scroll this way because Dick is be coming right back. He's flying a little bit to the north today, which is nice. He's not tormenting the old guy. He hasn't done his wellness check where I go out. You're number one with me. Yes, but I'm not using that finger. All right, yesterday was a successful day. We have everything laid out to pressure wash. Yes, we can wash everything and get things clean, ready for winter. Oh, there's the sun. It's in my eyes right now. Okay, all right. That's pretty good. Scroll. We did it with one rotation and we're smiling because we're having a good day so far and it's going to be hot oh it's going to be so hot well i better go here comes the boss okay before it gets too warm in the van trailer here yes i'm in trailer nine the caterpillar parts trailer yes so we're going to get this stuff organized we have to make room because we have the d7 motor to come in here yet until the money tree blossoms yes and we can buy crank bearings and all that kind of stuff so i had enough of that black black box it served us well up on the winter roads and stuff like that, but now it's just too bulky, too ugly for in the trailer here. So I organized the parts to motor parts and to clutch parts and everything like that so we can figure out what we're doing. And then of course I got a Hercules, that oil pan out all by myself because the staff is at a real job. Okay, so now let's take this uh, box out of the way and then we can bring out the 38 GMC because we need electrical power over here. Okay, just about lunchtime and it's getting warm out here. I brought the service truck. Yes, the 38 GMC up because I need electrical power. Let's do a walk and talk video here. And for the new subscribers, YouTube viewers, let's take a look at the power. Yes, we have the Lincoln. It's over here. The Lincoln Ranger one, 10,000. So that's 10,000 amps or whatever, kilowatts or whatever power. I don't know, you guys can read it here. Yeah, it's power. 10,000 watts. Yes. All right. So I put the granny stairs up for the granny than me. Now I can walk up and down. Okay. So I had to make some firewood. Not sure how this walk and talk video is going. A lot of thought was required in organizing the pallets because we have the motor pallets that are wide. We have the skinny pallets that I can get by. Plus I found out this pallet jack being oddball doesn't fit sideways in the pallet. I've never seen that before. Most pallet jacks you pick up the pallet one way or the other. All right, 
So we cut the pallets off so we can work on these motors. So me being an old guy, I can walk around these motors now. And we use the number of boards, the seam in the floor to make sure they're all centered. All the motors are facing the correct way. So that way when I grab the parts, I should have no problems. This one's a little wobbly. We have to put some shims under it. So over here, there are all the parts for rollerless. Okay, so that's the motor for rollerless, which is this one right there, which is complete. So I have high hopes and dreams that that will be the first one to go out. Okay, so over here, we have all the parts to assemble and make a motor for the wide pad cat, the D69U, known as Bigfoot. So this took a lot of thought and thinking to go back and forth and everything like that, but we should be good. Oh, here's the rod bearings. Oh. Of course they're hooked. Okay, there's the rod bearings for rollerless. Can we say knock knock? But it was only one cylinder knocking, not like the D7 4T where they were all knocking. All right, let's finish up and then we can eat some lunch. Okay, I had no problems cutting these pallets because we had the Princess Auto Sawzall blade that was gifted to us from a Kingdom follower, YouTube subscriber. I was very impressed. I was reaching in, wanging away, and it got it all. It hit the flow numerous times, kind of put a little uh, curve into it. I don't know if you can see that, Les Nesman. <laughs> put a little curve into it, but that actually worked out better for getting these uh, cuts curved so that doesn't nick my or hurt my toes in my shoes. All right, let's see if we can get some plastic off here and get some organization. Okay, it's just about 30 degrees Celsius outside. It's almost time for us to quit and day drink. Yes, we got everything going here. I'm inside the van trader here, and at lunchtime it was too hot to eat, so I just had a beverage. So I printed off a bunch of name plates, so we get everything, how would you say, organized. Because if I lose my memory or die, nobody will know what this stuff is. Also too, we brought the plastic gauge out, so we can check out the bearings and stuff like that. So this is the original motor out of Bigfoot. They had the cylinder head off when I purchased it and they walked away. But to me, there's nothing wrong with it, okay? It's still good. So we took it apart, I think in 2020 of the great lockdowns and we laid everything out here. So it's not bad. There was a little bit of C, it was seized a bit, but I think the bearings and stuff like that, if I take this crank and bearings and put them into rollerless here, all right, that might work out. Because these bearings here, I priced them out for the D7. They want almost 200 bucks for the uh, thrust bearing. And these things here are like 100 bucks now. Like I just shake my head. We can't figure this rollerless motor out. The guy told me it was good. Said it was good. Saw it was good. Crank it over. Like I had the pan off. You can see my trademark orange. And we put a bar on here. I didn't plastic gauge. I put a bar on and checked it and everything seemed all right. Like, like what's the problem? And then we had it running. I think we drove it about uh, 20 feet and it was knocking. So that's when we gave up, but that's all par for the course. So it's upside down and we made a little bracketries and stuff like that. Also too, we have everything lined up and I asked Sir Rodney to look into caster wheels because I think I'm gonna have to build an overhead lift mechanism. Seems how I, I was gonna do it in the shop I'd use the mini hoe. That's why they were on the wagon. It would go in. The mini hoe would lift the cranks out and we'd have a good time. So over here, I drew up a little blueprint on what I need for an overhead mechanism. But the trailer will have to be leveled for sure. And we're asking Sir Rodney for wheel caster wheels with brakes on because we don't want it to roll away. So I think that will work out. And if we have it high enough, we should be able to sling out these cranks okay because I'm at the age I'm not going to be able to lift them up you know 20 years ago I probably lift that crank out and single-handedly and you know change it out but those days are long gone okay seems how these motors or crank jobs have been what a 10-year project probably more okay first thing you got to do is get the serial numbers of the of the blocks so you kind of get an idea of is it new style old style or the bearings interchangeable is the crank interchangeable and stuff like that so we're pretty close with the Bismarck or the Bigfoot motor being close to being the same as rollerless, okay? We got this motor here in the scrap pile. Yes, we acquired it, it was in the scrap pile. Everybody else had sent it for scrap, but I looked at it as a lot of good parts in here, and there is. And it is a cat motor for a dozer, because it's got the oil sucker at the front, or yeah, at the front and at the back, okay? So that gives you an indication, okay? 
Also too, we got this one out of a 12 grader. I personally pulled it out and it was the same thing. Motor left a blown up or something or they stripped it for parts. But you can tell it's a grader motor because there's just a sucker at the front and nothing at the back. If your grader's doing a wheelie stand and starving for oil, you have a problem, okay? So this scrap motor here is we're calling it, the scrap one, has no serial number. Cat, uh, cat never, how would you say, die casted or hand stamped them into the block. So once the tag is gone, you're screwed. But they look fairly close, okay? So out of these two blocks here, most likely this one, we're going to see if we can make a motor for, for uh, uh, Bigfoot because this one had the cylinder head on and everything like that. I'm pretty sure it's pretty clean cylinders. I'm positive on that. I'll have to check the pictures. So that's what we're going to do is try and make this motor into the Bigfoot motor. And also too, we got all the tags everywhere. So rollerless is on this side. I put the tags up too high. So when you take a picture, it doesn't show up. What was I thinking? So we got that there. That's all the rollerless parts. We got cylinder heads for the Bigfoot and we got all the pieces there. Okay. So everything is laid out. I think we're doing pretty good. I'm very pleased, but frick is it hot in here? I don't know. This is, we're just not used to this. I'm standing here holding the camera sweating as if I'm in the bedroom. Oh my, those are good memories. Oh wait, that was last night. Okay, it's officially a hot day here in the kingdom. Yes, plus 30 on the weather network, but feels like plus 36. And there's a thunderstorm watch, too hot, too fast. So now I'm gonna pressure wash. See that I got the pressure washer out there? And look at that, I got my bulging biceps and look at this, everybody get viewer discretion advised. Look at those, yeah. That just makes the ladies weak. Oh yes. All right, let's get pressure washing and get this done and then we can drink professionally. I turn the AC on in the house so when I'm done getting dirty and greasy from pressure washing, I can go into the nice cool house and have a nice cool beer. Oh, the things we do to get these projects done. Oh my, we're gonna have fun. This is our first hot day of the summer. Four more to go. Okay, coffee time in the kingdom. I mean beverage time. Yes, this is working out good. It's hot and I'm pressure washing and if I do it right, I can get like the spray from the pressure washer spraying onto my face. Just like as if it was the ocean. All right, so these rims turned out pretty good. The tranny come out pretty good and we're very pleased. Just got to finish up the D74T in there and then we can head over to those three pallets and then we can call it a day and drink professionally because it's an official hot day. Wednesday morning in Whoville and it's almost 7 a.m. and I'm just getting ready to head to work. As you can see, there is not much of a sun this morning. It is sitting right there, but it's hiding behind the smoke and the clouds. It's kind of chilly and this is the temperature we're sitting at right now. It's 17 degrees Celsius, which is 62 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs back in and get to work. 11.30 and I just made it home for lunch. It was a pretty good morning. We got all the floors stripped and finished. Now we just have to wax and buff them and they are completely done and we can move the furniture around. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs out and make lunch. Then I'll do weather. Sure is warm out here today, but with the smoke and the wind, it's kind of nice. 12.30 I'm just getting ready to head back to work. I had leftovers from last night. The water didn't come back on till about 10.30 or so, so it was a late night for me. This is the temperature we're sitting at right now. It's 27 degrees Celsius, which is 80 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. It's been pretty nice out here with that wind. Keeps the sand flies and mosquitoes away. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs back in and get to work. Just after 4 p.m. and I made it home from work. It was a pretty good afternoon. We got a lot done, but it is really hot out here, so I got the quad out. Now I'll head on over to the kingdom. I don't think we're doing anything today because of how hot it is. Almost 4.30 and I made it to the kingdom. As you can see, it is pretty windy out here, but it is a warm wind, so it makes it even hotter. Now I'll head on down to the shop and see what my dad's up to. Pretty sure when I pulled into the yard, I seen him wearing shorts down at the shop now and it looks like my dad is flushing out the frame on the cat here he waters it first and then he uses the air compressor to blow it out
then he's cleaning it out that way he can weld in there without all the dirt and the gunk and leftover oils and stuff. It actually looks pretty clean, plus with him pressure washing it keeps him nice and cool. And as you can see, he has a pretty good tan going on. Back up at the house now. We're not doing anything else in the kingdom today. It is way too hot. My dad's just going to finish up with the D7. Some of you guys are asking about my garden, so here it is. I have a broccoli coming in. I will have to put a stick to hold it up. A couple radishes and everything else looks pretty good. Now let's go over and check on my potatoes. My potatoes are looking pretty good. Two of them are popping up. The other ones are just underneath the soil here. I planted these on May 21st and I think they're doing really well. I'm going to let them sit for as long as I possibly can to see how many potatoes I can get. Now it's time to grab my dog treats, head on back into Whoville and do the weather. 5 p.m. and I made it home from the kingdom and put the quad away just in time for it to start storming. I'm not sure if you can hear that in the background. But it is thundering and lightning out, not much rain yet, I'm sure it's going to start pouring soon. This is the temperature we're sitting at right now, it's 32 degrees Celsius, which is 89 degrees Fahrenheit. We even have the feels like on the bottom. As you can see, it is getting pretty nasty and dark out here right now, and that wind's picking up. Now it's time to head inside, let the dogs back in so they don't get wet, make supper, and end my day. and I know I already ended my day but I wanted to show you guys a thunderstorm that rolled in. I have a two minute video of all the thunder and lightning that took place off into the distance here. Hopefully there's no fires but as you can see it is pretty wet out here. I even have a little river going down beside the house. It got pretty windy as well. You can kind of see the trees are folded over. So I'll get my dad to post the video for you guys and end my day again.
Okay, five o'clock and I just got the uh, pressure washer, air hose and everything put away and I am soaked, I am greasy, all because Caterpillar, I'll explain tomorrow because I can't do a video because it's thunder and lightning and I mean lots of good lightning. We've unplugged all the electronics in the house. Ooh, just look at that. We're going to have some forest fires. All right, let's see about sitting on the deck of the house, drinking a beer and watching it rain. Okay, I made it to the house. Now it's officially raining. We got a storm and the dogs aren't happy, but oh well, I made it to the house. Hopefully we ride this out. Okay, that storm lasted one hour, heavy rains, heavy winds, but we survived. That's the main thing, we were ready and we got greasy and dirty. Yes, over here, Caterpillar had some design problems or whatever. They put a drain down in here where your steering clutches are down there. Okay, so trying to get everything, the debris and everything out of there to drain is next to impossible because they put the big shaft across. I don't know if you can see that Les Nesman. Yeah. So there's a little gap there. The 1 8 welding rod fits nicely in there. So you got to reach in, fight and struggle and of course just try and get it to go. So you use the air hose, the pressure washer and everything like that. Also too I like this here bush fix. Look at that. It wore out the thread so just add more and more washers and spacers to make it work. But we're very pleased but we planned this. Yes. I was soaked, I was greasy, I was dirty, but the thing is, we knew this was gonna happen. This is what my fifth cat of Caterpillar I've done. We've done all the TD18s, the TD6s, the TD9s and stuff. So we well, well know what it takes to get this done. So we're very pleased. All right, look at the flags, they're wet, they're soaked, they're tangled. That was a win and we collected some water, so we're very happy. So let's go walk the dogs, relax and drink some beer. Talk to you later.